What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Sector for Nerds. I'm Ryan Brower. Today, we're going to talk about Andor Episode 9, but this is probably going to be a really quick video today, you guys, as I don't really have much time. But I will say this much, right? Like, I still don't like this series, and I could sit here all day and tell you about everything that I thought went wrong with this episode and how much I don't like it. But at the end of the day, I've decided that I'm going to try and take a little bit more of a positive approach this week and talk about something that not necessarily that I enjoyed, but something that I am a little bit curious about. I think what I'm probably going to do at this point is either for the finale episode of Andor or for just its own separate video, just talking about all of the problems that I've had with the Andor series. Let's talk about Andy Serkis's character because he was really the one that sort of intrigued me the most in this episode, considering that once again, we didn't have Leuven. Or Saw Gerrera. No follow-up to that thing. Okay, hold on, Ryan. We're gonna be positive, remember? I think it was last episode, like Andor was asking him all these questions, or was it this episode? I don't remember, because they all blend together at this point, but him saying, like, how many guards are on this level, and the dude wouldn't tell him, and Andor's like, come on, surely you've thought about breaking out and stuff. And it's funny then, because by the end of the episode, and you kind of figure out something big is going on in this place. Like, it's not just a prison. I don't even know what you would call it. But just somewhere that, like, these people are being arrested for no reason and being held against their will to do work for the Empire. And then they were saying, what, that something happened on level two that they were killing people? So that's kind of what has me curious. Like, what is it that they're building for the Empire right now? Is it just, like, Star Destroyers? Is it the Death Star? Is it some sort of secret project that we don't know about? Like, is this, uh, is this like, where they're building Imperial Interdictors or something? I know that were sort of secret at the time as well. I'm not really sure. And then you had that one dude, that older guy that's just, you know, ends up dying because, you know, he's just been working so long and he just ends up having a stroke. And then you have Andy's character that's just like, hey, no, we gotta, you know, he's only got 40 more shifts to go. Now, though, when he said he's only got a few more shifts to go, I was expecting maybe like five or 10 at most. But then when he was sitting there saying he's got 40 more shifts, I'm like, oh, there's no way this dude's making it. Sure enough, he didn't. And then that's when, like, they start asking the questions and then it's like, you know, something big's going down, but they don't know what it exactly it is yet. And then by the end, when they're both walking away and Andor's like, how many guards are on each level? And the dude's like, no more than 12. And it's like, okay, so now he's in on this prison escape. So I think the prison escape itself, I'm going to be very interested in seeing and curious to see, like, if they find out more regarding what it is that they're doing for the Empire. But that is just the small amount of excitement that I have for this show. But hey, like I said, I'm taking a much more positive approach, and that's all I'm going to say about this episode, and also because I don't have much time anyway. So that is going to wrap us up for today, you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this uh, episode of Andor. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with others to help support the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Jedi. Ahsoka is Jedi.